Let's make bánh dày. These are steamed glutinous rice cakes, which are commonly served with giò lụa or chả lụa, which is Vietnamese pork loaf. To make the dough, you'll need glutinous rice flour, regular rice flour, salt, and some warm water. To a large bowl, we'll add in our glutinous rice flour, rice flour, and salt. Mix that together. Make a well in the middle. Gradually add your warm water and mix. Keep mixing until there's no dry flour remaining. We're going to get all the dry bits on the side of the bowl. Knead until it's no longer sticky. You'll end up with a cohesive lump like this. Now we'll let that rest while we prep the banana leaf. In Vietnam, we use banana leaves to wrap a lot of different rice cakes. They're a great biodegradable natural way to wrap and present the food. They prevent sticking and add a distinct aroma to the food. Steaming on banana leaf is the best way, but if you don't have a steamer or can't get your hands on banana leaf, there are other ways. You can steam them on parchment paper or boil them in water instead, but they won't taste exactly the same. These leaves have been cleaned, now I'm going to wipe them and cut them into squares. They don't have to be perfect. I recommend tearing the banana leaf along the veins to strips of approximately the right width, then using scissors to cut these strips into squares. We're adding some vegetable oil to the leaves to prevent the dough from sticking. I'm gonna pinch a piece of dough. You want about 40 grams of dough. I'm gonna roll it into a ball, and then flatten slightly. Place on the banana leaf. Repeat until the dough is gone. Now it's time to steam them. There's water in this pot. We're going to bring that to a boil with our steamer. Once the water is boiling, add the cakes and steam for 9 minutes. Then turn off the heat, keep the lid on, and let sit for 2 minutes. Now we'll remove these from the steamer and let them sit until they're room temperature. To prevent the surface from drying out, I'm adding just a little bit of oil on the surface. While the bánh dày cool, let's cut some giò lụa for serving. Along with this classic steamed pork sausage, bánh dày can also be served with giác quế, which is a fried cinnamon sausage. You can buy these pre-made and frozen from most Asian or Vietnamese grocery stores. Some people like eating them like a sandwich, but my favorite way is to take one, stretch it, add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then wrap it around a piece of giò lụa. I prefer the ratio of bánh dày and giò lụa this way. So good. While bánh dày is normally served with pork sausage, the cakes themselves are fully vegan and gluten-free. You might be able to find giò lụa chai, the vegan version of the steamed pork roll in Asian stores. If not, serve them with a well-seasoned piece of seitan or tofu. Give these a try and subscribe for more Vietnamese and French recipes.